Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, really, really good sneaky weekend uh, of boxing on uh, FS1. Uh, two cards in Bakersfield, uh, California. Completely prospect heavy, all prospect driven, and we got a lot of fun fights. Really, really good fun. Uh, let's get into the, the, the three fights today. Um, it, it, it was a bit of redemption. Um, in the uh, undercard in the co event. event. Um, Angel uh, Batan- uh, Barantes um, took a loss. You know, he's got the uh, the brother. Both of them were on their way up. Uh, Barantes took a loss. He's won twice. Well, he's won out three times, but he lost to a 3 0 fight named Trayvon Lawson um, back December of 26. Um, he's taken two fights since. He's won them both. Um, neither fighter had a win when it was on his debut. The other guy was 0-3. He scored two first round knockouts. This was his first real fight, real test since then. And uh Bertances looked good. He was sharp shooting from the outside. Um strong, powerful shots, studying shots uh, that were landing on the button. Um good stuff from Pertances. Um It's going to be interesting, you know, again, with, with, with the little guys, you know, they can come back, you know, uh, and Pertanzas look good. So, you know, that's good news. That that really is uh, good news from, from uh, Pertanzas. Um, but, again, he's, he's a 122-pounder. Uh, that is a loaded division. Guys, he's only 19. Um, he can come back. Uh, you know, the skills are there. You know, I, you know. I'm not exactly sure what happened, you know, in that Trayvon Lawson fight, which is almost a year ago now. Uh, but let's get him back in the ring one more time. Um, let's get him back in the ring one more time this year. Uh, let's give him another win. Let's give him a four and all this year, and 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 get back. But the skills are there. Uh, he's really he still gets hit too much. He gets hit too much. Uh, but he's a really good offensive fighter. Um, like I said, he fires. He's two fisted. He fires a lot of shots from the outside. He he's a sniper from the outside. He lands on the button from the outside. Um, and, and they're solid shots. Um, he's got a ways to go, but the groundwork, the base is there. You can see what kind of fighter he's going to be. Um, then after that, Omar Juarez looks spectacular. Omar Juarez coming back from a loss also. Um, he lost back in June, controversial decision. Went, you know, could have went one way, went the other. Omar took his first loss. Um, and, and he stood in. Right, like I want to make a comparison. You know, Zach Wilson, the quarterback of the Jets, had a horrible day. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how he responds next week, right? After all the criticism, after all the heat, and he self doubt that he may have. How does he come back and respond next week? And that, that's what I was interested in seeing with Omar. Omar lost his last fight out. You know, a lot of people thought he won. This didn't go that way. It's a very close fight. Went one way, not the other. Um, but Omar came back, and he stood in more than he had to. Um, he dropped. Um, Dropped his opponent in the, I want to say, the sixth round. Um, but Omar fought beautifully. He, he, he hurt his opponent in, in the opening round. Um, dominated the fight, won every round, won every minute of every round. Dropped him. Um, at first, almost finished him late in the fight. The ref was looking in. Omar did everything. He boxed beautifully from the outside. He was giving him angles. Then, you know, from the instruction of, of his coaches, you can hear him say, okay, press it now. But when you press... Come forward, be aggressive, but move your head. You know, uh, press press the issue intelligently, and that's exactly what Omar did. Omar ripped off beautiful body shots. He's becoming an excellent body puncher. Uh, he threw uh, and, and everything he was throwing was landing on the button. Um, really impressive uh, performance from Omar Juarez, uh, who moves to now twelve and one. Uh, he's just twenty two years old. Uh, they moved him along real quickly. Um, you know, he, he lost to Ol Rivera. Um, it doesn't seem to affect him. You know, the guy who fought today, Jairo Lopez, that's from 40 fights, 27 wins. Um, 
he lost every minute of the fight, you know. Um, it was a really, really, really good performance from Omar Juarez. Um, it is a 140 pound, and, and see, coming up, the goal was to bring him down to 35. I don't know if they can do that. Uh, he weighs in at 142 now pretty consistently. Um, I'd like to see if they can bring him down to 35 because he's not real big for the weight class. He's not the biggest puncher in the world. He's not light, you know, he's not feather fisted. I was at the biggest punch. He's not the strongest guy until he can really grow into his man strength. Like I said, he's only 22. I'd like to see if they can bring him down to 35, but he's a complete fighter. He's really good defensively. He makes you miss. He gives you angles. He's got really good footwork. Um, and then he, he can fight on the inside really well. He's precise on the inside and on the outside. He's got to jab a little more, but all the skills and the speed are, are there. Um, and then in, in the main event, um, Malik Hawkins, uh, Malik Hawkins, uh, Malik Montgomery uh, threw 100 punches around in, in, in a really, really, really interesting fight over, and I'm going to say the name wrong, Aline Jaminoff, Jiminoff, Jiminoff, I think is how you say it, who's a solid fight. I know his record's not spectacular. It was just 9-3-2 and two coming into this fight, uh, but he had some good wins. He beat Jorge Ramos, and he beat Anthony Chavez. He had two good wins. Uh, he beat Jorge Ramos in the bubble. Um. In uh, in, in last summer, um, in the top rank bubble, and then uh, prior to that, he had a loss against an undefeated fighter, um, at, at at the bubble, also in the bubble, um, two months before that against Martin uh, Jules, as a lot of people thought he won, and before that he beat Anthony Chavez at the Double Tree Hotel, uh, in Ontario, um. I want to say that was a Thompson Promotions card that was streamed. Uh, Isaac Zarate fought on that card. Uh, but he, he it, it wasn't a push up, it was a really good opponent. And um, Montgomery took care of him. He, he you know, he got hurt probably about the eighth or ninth round. Maybe he lost one or two other rounds. It was a pretty dominant performance. He threw a lot of shots offensively, really good. Defensively, he, he's defensively skilled, he just likes to throw a lot, so he's gonna get hit. I, I don't know if he starts fighting, you know, world championship caliber fighters, if they're going to have to reel him in a little bit, um, you know, not throw so many shots. But offensively, he's really good. Um, and yesterday's card, um, you know, in the featherweight fight, we had Rajan Chance and Alain De Jesus, And De Jesus clearly won. Uh, it was a really weird incident, really poorly ref. Guys, go back and watch that fight. Um, De Jesus lost a point for punching to the back of the head was never given a warning um chance got knocked down in the fifth um uh, but was given a timeout to talk to the ref because he said he couldn't see the, he, he told the ref he couldn't see so the ref took him over to the doctor it was really weird stuff the doctor said he was okay and he was given that whole break and then it ends up you know he probably would have been knocked out at that point he was given a second chance, and he was given a uh he, uh his suits was taken lost the point for a punch in the back of the head, which was a punch in the back of the head, but it was a warning. It wasn't an intentional thing. That was really strange. Um, and then Jose uh, Valenzuela um, took care of business. Really, really good performance against Denier Barrio. Um, Jose Valenzuela is another 140-pounder. He can fight at 35 or 40, but he's someone to keep an eye on. Um, I don't think he's as good as Omar Warriors just yet. I don't think he's at that level yet, but he's 10-0 now. It's a really good fighter. But this was a, a sneaky, sneaky good week. Of uh, uh, you know, amateur, uh, amateur, uh, prospect driven cards, you know, PBC prospects. Um, you know, I, I and the fights were fun, all the fights were entertaining. Um, Malik Montgomery throws a, a ton of shots. Omar oh, Wars is, is always in fun fights, seemingly. Um, but let me know what you guys think. You guys, I was excited, I thought it was a good card. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery at the Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Add some new content to that. Uh, there's also a bunch of interviews with Omar Warriors, who's from Brownsville, uh, Brownsville, Texas. Check that out. Uh, it is September 19th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still on the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless.